A couple who used to live in Texas was arrested in Hawaii last week after they were found to be using the identities of two dead babies that are buried right here in Central Texas. Connor Board shares that not only did they fool the people around them, one of them was even granted security clearance from the United States government. Two babies who died in the 1960s are at rest buried in Marble Falls and Burnett, but authorities say a former Texas couple stole their identities and have been getting away with it for decades. I tell you what, I believe the world is full of crooks. That's John, the 92-year-old father of Julie Montague, one of the two infants who died, and investigators say had their identities stolen by this couple, Walter Primrose and Gwen Morrison. Julie Montague was born, died, and buried in 1968 in Burnett. The other baby, Bobby Fort, was born in Dallas in 1967 and died that same year. He was buried in Marble Falls. Investigators say Primrose and Morrison have been using the infants' names for about 30 years. A prosecutor says they had ties to Russian intelligence and that they had an invisible ink kit, maps of military bases, receipts of undisclosed foreign travel, and told family members they were in the witness protection program. Federal agents also seized photographs from the couple's home in Hawaii wearing what they have identified as KGB uniforms. Julie Montague's sister, Tonda, says this has all been very painful. To see a photo of a person who has your sister's name in, uh, in a KGB uniform is, uh, wow. Investigators say the couple fraudulently obtained driver's licenses, passports, and Defense Department credentials. Those documents helped Primrose get secret security clearance with the U.S. Coast Guard and as a defense contractor. Former director of the CIA, Porter Goss, said investigators need to first determine a motive. Whether it's an economic matter or criminal matter of fraud or whether or not there's some national security involved. A federal court filing says Morrison had lived in Romania while it was within the communist bloc and that Primrose did not report several trips to Canada. Gall said the evidence so far is not enough to suggest the pair were acting as Russian spies, but said you also can't rule it out. You never want to dismiss lightly the potential of a sleeper agent. Court documents say the couple's house in Nacogdoches was foreclosed by the bank in 1987, and that's when prosecutors say the couple renamed and remade themselves. Tonda Montague had this to say to the couple suspected of stealing her sister's identity. Shame on you. <laughs> yeah, shame on you. Reporting in Austin, I'm Connor Board. What a wild story. Wow. Now, wow. during a hearing yesterday, the judge declared Walter Primrose a flight risk and ordered him to remain in federal custody. A hearing to determine if Morrison will also be held pending trial is set for Tuesday in Hawaii. Now, if convicted, they each face up to 17 years in prison.